Nah. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. A little too quiet. Perfect. Hey peeps, this is Andercon, and I'm uh, finally done taking my break from Minecraft. Uh, I'm ready to make another scene of using the videos. I've been playing Dwarf Fortress for five months straight and haven't uh, touched Minecraft or watched any Minecraft videos the entire time, so I'm going to be rusty as hell. I'm going to show you how to get started with industrial craft and make a complete workshop. This video will cover the iron furnace, generator, bat box, electro furnace, and macerator. And, uh, and the music. Uh, single player. Alright, I made a whole new world. And, uh, the seed is PISS! Yes, that's PISS, uh, with a capital P. Alright, uh, to get started in industrial craft, uh, you're gonna need two things. First, you're going to need rubber. So you have to hunt down a bunch of these rubber, rubber trees. Uh, they got two distinct features. They've got, uh, three, uh, bits of leaves sticking out the top, so they kind of look funny. And uh, they got these uh, orange spots on them. That's where you get the resin from. Now, we'll go ahead and uh, make a tap. To get the resin, you'll need a tap. So you take five planks and arrange them like this, and you'll get a tree tap. Then you go and uh, right click on any of these spots, and it'll give you uh, a little bit of sticky resin. Uh, to make this into rubber, just throw it in a furnace, and it'll cook it. So you're going to want to collect uh, some s uh, saplings here and take them back to your base and make it your own little forest because uh, you're going to go through a whole lot of rubber after a while. Now, now the other thing you're going to need is a whole bunch of ore. So go throw yourself down a hole for an hour and uh, you'll be alright. Just don't come back up uh, without a whole bunch of uh, iron, copper, tin, uh, some redstone, and you'll need a little bit of flint, not much. Let's see here. Well, the first thing we're going to make today is an iron furnace. Uh, you'll need a regular furnace and uh, five iron ingots. Throw the furnace in the center bottom, throw the iron around it like so, and you'll get an iron furnace. Uh, this thing is 20% uh, faster than a regular furnace and 25% more fuel efficient. Uh, but I'm not going to actually use it because it's going to be turned into a generator shortly. So next thing I'm going to need is some insulated copper cable. Uh, see, I got some sitting here, but I need to show you how to make it. Uh, I think uh, this right here. And we'll go ahead and uh, make some rubber. So throw your rubber in the furnace, just like so. And let it cook for a while. Might be a minute. Uh, it doesn't appear that I've got any already done. Well, while we wait on this. Uh, anyway, I got two mods going on this right now, and uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Industrial craft, obviously. And I picked up red power. Now, I don't have build craft installed, it didn't uh, run natively with uh, red power, so I figured I'd just you know, drop it for now and try Red Power for a while. It's got a whole bunch of neat stuff in it. Um, I want to play around with all the extra redstone stuff in it. Uh, but I'll get to that later. That's going to be a lot of fun. Maybe I'll even build a calculator out of it. And it's almost done here. Come on. Push. Push. Okay. Can't wait till I get some faster furnaces going. Slow. Oh. Finally. Alrighty. To make insulated copper cable, you're going to need three copper. Throw it in here like this. This will give you uninsulated copper cable. But to throw insulation on it, just surround it like so with the rubber. Now you can also make this a different way. Just like that. It'll give you six copper cables. Alright. Next thing is uh, a rebattery. Let's see, I'm going to need... I'm also going to need three refined iron, so I'll go ahead and cook these while I'm waiting. Uh, to make the re-battery, I'm going to need a bit of uh, redstone as well. 
Three battery takes four tin bars, two redstone, and a copper cable on the top. And there's your read battery. Let's see, what all else do I need? The generator needs one read battery, one iron furnace, and three refined iron. So, as soon as this is done, there we go. Three refined iron, one iron furnace, and a read battery on top gives you a generator. This is uh, the most basic power generating piece of equipment there is. I'm going to throw it in the corner right here. Now, this thing will store, I believe, 4,000 uh, energy units, and that's uh, Industrial Crafts version of electricity. And uh, you can cook yeah, about anything in here. You can stick a stack of coal in here, you can throw wood. It's got its own uh, other sources of power if you want. I'll go through it um, later, I'll make a video on how to make the more advanced fuel uh, biofuel and coal fuel. Um, maybe in a couple videos from now. Now, one piece of coal will fill this thing up so it stores 4,000. Each piece of coal um, makes 4,000 energy units. Uh, let's see, what's next on my list? Bat box. Okay. To make a bat box, uh, it's an energy storage device. It'll store 40,000 energy units. That's uh, so we can throw a whole stack of uh, coal in there and you won't waste very much. Uh, and I can go ahead and get a whole bunch of it built up for later. Uh, you need five wooden planks, and three re batteries, and uh, one copper cable. We already got some of that made up, so that makes it easier. And uh, throw it in there like that, and you get a bat box. Now, the bat box has got one, two, three, four, five sides, I believe, of uh, input and one put a side of output. And the output should be placed uh, towards you when you put it down. And, yep, it worked just fine. Now, you can see this uh, generator is draining its energy, and it's putting it into the bat box. So, oh, what's this? Redstone behavior emit if full. Oh, this is new. Yeah, I hadn't uh, played this in a long time. And I did not know about this uh, feature. Huh. It's got all sorts of neat stuff it can do now. Do not output energy at all, eh? Unless full... Okay, okay. I just want on nothing for now. Uh, it looks like you can customize all sorts of neat stuff with this thing nowadays. Alrighty, now we're going to hook this uh, bit of power generation uh, equipment up to some machines. So I'm going to throw down some insulated cables. And I'm going to put them all right in here. I need one more here. Let's see here. Put this down here. That way I can throw my workshop right in here, uh, up against this. Uh, next thing is uh, an electronic circuit. I'll go. Uh, I'll go ahead and get all the stuff for the next thing, which is a electro electro furnace. Uh, and I'll, I'll have to make a electronic circuit um, to make the electro furnace. It needs six insulated copper cables. I'll go ahead and make the cables. Alrighty, and I place those in here like so. But I probably need something else. Uh, one refined iron. Oh, okay, there we go. And two redstone. And I'm looking at my little cheat sheet over here. There's you an electronic circuit. And you're probably going to make a lot of these in your day if you use this mod a lot. Uh, I need to put this up here. This is the electro furnace. Uh, oops, I gotta make an iron furnace first. So, take a regular furnace, throw your iron around it to make an iron furnace again. Throw it in the middle. middle. Surrounded on each side with redstone, and put an electronic circuit at the top. And that'll give you an electric furnace. I think I will put this down here. Yeah. And this uh, right here shows that it's got power and it's filled up. Uh, now with the electric furnace, there are two ways to power it. Obviously you can just hook it up to uh, this right here. 
uh, as long as it's got power, or something has got power to it, it'll work. And the other thing is you can put a re-battery in it right here if it's charged up, and it'll run off the re-battery. I don't think I've got any of those made up right now, but uh, maybe I'll show that off another time. Let's see. Next thing to make is a macerator. Well, here's all the stuff for a macerator. And you need three flint, two cobblestone, eight refined iron, three copper, and six rubber. And let me look at my recipe. Macerator. Looks like I need another electronic circuit. And am I one shy for refined iron? I think I am. Oh, I also forgot to get the redstone. Alright, I'll go ahead and show off one feature of the electric furnace. You throw in your iron ingot here, rebattery here if you want to use the rebattery, and here's your output. Now these four spaces here are for upgrades. I'm not going to show that now, maybe in another video, a few videos down the line, but uh, you can make the electric furnace um, suck up more energy and it'll work a whole lot faster now. Uh, you just have to make some upgrades and throw them in these slots. Now, the reason why you want to use an electric furnace over this thingy, or a uh, iron furnace, is it only uses the energy for the specific number of items you throw in it. So if you use one refined iron, it's only going to use up enough energy to make uh, one refined iron instead of, say, one piece of coal can smelt eight pieces of iron into refined iron it'll only use uh, one-eighth of that uh, amount of energy. And I'll pull it off of the bat box. And I need some more energy in here. And I think I got everything. Alrighty, back to the electronic circuit. There you go. Next thing is a machine block. There you need your eight refined iron and it'll turn into a machine block. I believe this goes in the center. Yep, and electronic circuit below it. Two cobblestone and your three flint. Now, this thing is, in my opinion, the best piece of equipment in the entire mod. Alrighty, and I'll show you why. Uh, I want to grind up a bit of iron. No, I actually want some tin. Here we go. Now, I'm going to throw in one piece of tin. And this is going to give me two pieces of tin dust. And each one of those pieces I can throw in a uh, furnace. And I'll get a bar out of each piece. So pretty much it doubles uh, your quantity of ore. There's your two tin dust. Now, you can grind up some other stuff with the uh, macerator, too. Let's see. I throw in a little bit of cobble. Now, this is a neat feature I didn't know about until recently. I went and looked this up. If you throw in some cobblestone, it'll give you sand. Let's see. Do I got... What else do I got to throw in here? Come on. Push. Give me my sand. There we go. One piece of sand. Uh, you can also throw in uh, sand blocks, and it'll give you sand. Um, sandstone. It'll give you sand. And uh, if you throw in a piece of wool, it'll give you a bunch of string. Alright. Next up was... Uh, I think that was it, wasn't it? Oh. Alright, well, next I'm going to show you how to make some other stuff in the next video. Uh, Next, we're going to cover an extractor, compressor, a canning machine, a recycler, maybe a little light ways down the line. And then probably the video after that, I'll show you how to make the advanced fuel for uh, the generator. So, talk to me in a, uh, bleh. I'll talk to you next time. See you later.